Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Look at your browser window. How many toolbars are in it? Now, if you're someone like me, you have no toolbars. And a lot of tech enthusiasts don't install toolbars. But I would say that there are more non-tech enthusiasts in the world than there are people who love technology and understand that toolbars generally aren't a good thing to install. So uh, we've had the experiences of helping people with problems. And one of the questions that came up recently is how do you get rid of the Babylon toolbar? I didn't even realize Babylon had a toolbar. Uh, but it's not just Internet Explorer that takes toolbars. Uh, Firefox uh, could be filled with toolbars as well. Uh, you know, if you have the opportunity to install a toolbar or if it becomes bundled with some other piece of software that you installed on your computer, it's it's stealthy. They, they get in there and then suddenly your whole browsing experience has been hijacked. Toolbars generally get a thumbs down from me. Uh, so if you've been hit by a toolbar or two, uh, you may appreciate the, the story as relayed by Sherman DeForest there on Locker Gnome. We uh, linked his uh, diatribe, well, it's not really a diatribe. He was kind of going off, though. If you have ever found yourself frustrated when you sit in front of a computer, and, and, and let's say it's, it's a friend or relatives, uh, and, and they said something's wrong, and you sit in front of it, and there's like 84 toolbars installed. What is, let me ask you this. How many toolbars? Have you ever had this experience? What is the most amount of toolbars, seriously, that you've ever seen installed on a single browser window? How, how many? I'm uh, just curious. I mean, I've seen as much as three, realistically, like uh, I think it was the uh, Windows Live or Bing toolbar, Yahoo toolbar, and the Google toolbar, all like all in one. I mean, it was like 12, 11? No, 10, 20, 20, come on, 20 plus. I think about four or five, six, that, that would probably be average. Toolbars are generally not a good thing. Uh, I, I would uh, dissuade you from installing toolbars. And if you've ever run into the Babylon toolbar and you had problems with it, uh, or if you know of someone who has the Babylon toolbar, you might want to send them the link to this article so that they can get a better understanding of why you don't want to install toolbars. I don't care who's asking you to install a toolbar. And yeah, I've used toolbars in the past, and I think as long as you keep it to one, you should be okay, but do you really need the toolbar? That's what you have to ask yourself at this point in time, especially if it hijacks the experience. Uh, so we've detailed how to get rid of a potentially, you know, negative experience or a detracting experience, uh, at least with the Babylon toolbar, because people install these things and then they fr they're frustrated because something stops working the way they expected it to work. And this is what toolbars do. They hijack your experience. And average users just don't understand it. So help us, as, as people who understand technology, communicate with people who aren't as familiar with technology, clean up their computers by removing toolbars like this one. Read the story. Maybe you can sympathize uh, with Sherman, and, and if you, you're, you're not even aware that you might have toolbars that are ruining your experience right now, take a look at the story. You'll get a better understanding of what's going on. It's easy to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and plus one it, just like Stacey Ferris, Skyler Johnson, Sean Jordan, Alex Pierre, and Harry Creter have done. You can also tweet it and like it as well. Take a look. The link's in the description.